When you come to join us in the spring to fish, we have all the kinds of equipment that you need to use. And you'll get to practice tying some real flies too. Until then, open your supply box and find the supplies that Ali and I are using to tie knots. Remember, no one knows how to do this yet. We are all still learning. Don't worry if you can't do it right away. Practice alongside us and let's tie some knots. <laughs> Alrighty everybody, today we're going to be talking about the Arbor Knot. Now the Arbor Knot is primarily used to connect your line to your reel, but our reel already has line on it, so I'm just going to show you on this here cork of our handle. Now first thing you're going to do is you want to wrap your line around the handle and give yourself a nice tail. Now the Arbor Knot is a lot like a half hitch with line moving through it. So make another loop right here with the line going through and feed your tail through that hole. Pull that knot tight and this end of the line should be able to move freely through it. Now to stop it com from coming undone, we're going to go ahead and tie a quick stopper knot. And when it's all said and done, pull it tight and there you go. So we are now taking our leader line and our fly line. Now this is our fat end of our fly line as you will see in your kit. We will take that and make it parallel to our leader. We will also be bringing our thin end of our fly line and having it go the opposite direction. Now, this will have created a loop in your fly line. Now, taking the strand that is coming off of the fat end, we will be taking this and making at least five barrels in our, over both our leader line and our fly line. Now, once you have your barrels, you will slowly start to pull on the strand coming off of the that end. Now you will want to be you will want to continue holding on to your leader and your fly line over the barrels as you are doing this. There you go tie a basic overhand knot with both materials together. Okay, basic overhand knot. And then once you've done that, do it one more time. So it's a double overhand knot. With all the lines wrapped around each other. Good. Okay. And then just slowly snug it up, tighten it up. And before it comes tight, then is a good time to lubricate the knot. And that's when you uh, slobber on it or find a dog or something. Mm -hmm. Get some dogs out of it. Right? And when you pull that up tight, then that makes a really strong knot. And you'll find that even though the orange line, in this case, is much thinner than the other one. This knot will hold both lines well. Today our paracord will be used as a leader. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to wrap the leader around your rod. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take one end of that leader and you are going to wrap it several times around its other side. After that, you are just going to come back through and cinch it up. And that's how you tie your leader to your fly using an improved clinch knot. Was that pretty fun and easy? That was pretty easy. Thank you so much, Allie. Of course.